Hello, you're welcome to today's episode of Crime and Justice Report with Victoria Omorogbe. Just a couple of months ago, there were several jailbreaks in the city of Benin as hoodlums took advantage of the NSAS protest to escape custody of some correctional facilities in the Edo state capital. This led to breakdown of law and order in several parts of Benin. Well, why Edo state residents are trying to heave a sigh of relief and to build confidence once more in the Nigerian police. Another jailbreak happened three days ago as hoodlums escaped once again from the custody of the Nigerian police command in Bini City. We spoke to the PRO who confirmed the incident but however debunked that only 10 suspects escaped as against hundreds of suspects that we are said to have escaped. It is true that some suspects who were detained for various offenses at the State Criminal Investigation Department, SCIB, Benin City, Edo State Police Command. The command is confirming it. These 10 suspects, eight of them were on court order. The command is also on the trail of the remaining eight, while two have been re-arrested. And at the same time, issuing a statement that what has gone viral on our social media that hundreds of uh, suspects escaped from the cell was not true. Where is the cell? I don't understand you. This is the cell. This is the cell. It's not even broken. This is on the computer. So, the developers are clear. They are not as long. 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 Are there people on duty here? People on duty. And if they are caught, we are here right now. So who was on ground here? The police was on ground. So were people on duty here? And they broke the pattern? Answer my question. Did they break the pattern? That is the process. That is the process. That is the process. That is the process. They broke the pattern. And the people are putting them on duty here. How does that one sound? How does that one sound? You know, nobody's going to allow this type of negligence uh, and, and uh, conspiratorial assistance to your hand. What has happened? Because we have to just get to the root of this. The public are apprehensive. We've got social media, every paper, every newspaper is awash with news of, of kidnappers who long who who guys have struggled at the expense of their lives to arrest them. And then the next thing you said they escaped from the cell. Nobody's going to think the IG is not happy with it. The IGP is not happy with this at all. Because I, I mean, what, what I was thinking, I probably uh, the fence was broken. No, or they broke the window no, at the back. Nothing like that. Right for the main door here. Yeah. Nothing like that. You should have to come down. This is where different. I will have uh, 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 10 or 16 uh, cells. Separate cells. Yeah, different cells inside that. And now they came out from this place like this and went out like this. Eh? <laughs> and uh, it is it is it is indicted. Those suspects must be brought within the shortest possible time. Because I want to believe these are part of the uh, hundred, hundred guys. But I've not seen the list. We have the list of the people and the offenses of those who escaped. Yes. So I want to see them when I get to where's your office? Your office somewhere in the back. Yes, okay. I go to your office, we'll look at the list and um, within the within the shortest possible time, you better send all your tactical intelligence units and all these your uh, uh, teams. You just have to work and you have to their villages or wherever they are. Within the shortest possible time you must be brought. Yes. And then we know what to do with regards to the disciplinary measures. Because nobody can accept it. It's just an acceptance. The public is not going to accept it. That was the only problem.
We also spoke with the AIG, who also confirmed the incident. He, however, assured the people of Benin City that they should be rest assured that their security is guaranteed, as the police are on top of their game to bring back the suspects and to ensure the security of lives and property in the city of Benin City. The inspector of police is not happy with what has happened, and as I said, I should come here uh, to visit the scene and give a first-hand report of what happened. Um, but I want to uh, reassure the people of Edo State that we are taking every measure possible to ensure that these boys who are, these suspects who are arrested, who escaped, are uh, rearrested. I also want to use the opportunity to debunk that uh, social media news that over hundreds of suspects escaped from the state CID cell. No. Uh, we have done a painstaking check and we found that 10 suspects escaped. However, that's 10 suspects to still many. I want to reassure the people of Edo State that all steps have been taken and very soon these bad boys will be brought back to where they should be. Edo State residents are however skeptical about the safety of lives and properties in Benin City. They keep asking one question, is Edo State safe? Is Benin City safe? Let's hear from them. So Edo State is not safe because it's not even normal. You understand? The, the police they are trying to be tactical in doing their things. You understand? But at the same time, they need to have a way of doing it. If the hoodlums are committed to meet them, it's easy for them to just react than allowing them to come in, still re rescue those ones that we think they've arrested. And today, we, are, we the, uh, the, the, people, the citizens, we are never saved. It's Jesus that we can beg to make Edo be at peace. And he has been doing it and will continue to do it. That is what I believe. Edo State right now, uh, I think the security level is really dropping. It's dropping that everybody is scared. Like going about, you are really worried about what is happening. And it's called for, it's called for a concern if the people that are supposed to be in charge of the security issue, if they are doing it. Uh, we are scared though. From the incidents that are taking place in our, in our, rich, our nation right now, Nigeria, I think um, we have to caution the security system in our nation. Uh, the first question is, we say we have security like the police around and we are hearing all of these incidents taking place like um, people breaking out from the prison scenes, the protest, even before the protest. We see issues that take place and we don't find security around. So it's a big question to us. Uh, when we are asking the police, what are people doing? You were employed to stand for security. And most of the time we hear our president come up and says they are going to, you know, sponsor to see that security is strong in Nigeria so that all citizens will be safe. But now, the way it looks, citizens are scared. People are hiding. And you even find that, that even those people that does all of this um, problem, cause all of the problems, these hooligans, arm robbers and so on, it looks like they are even stronger than our security. I don't know whether they are those things safe now, whether they are not safe, because everybody now, in short, it was God, it's just God. It's just the grace of God now, we people are living now, because I don't really understand why they are used to break all those, uh, all those things. It, that will not be the issue where they they do now. That one is not, it's not the best. It's not the best. So we should just, more try, more there's more corporates. May the adults that may benefit us, may good. Because it's a good land. It's a good land because many, many people, this, we did their states, now they will come at those states, those states, they bless them. But I don't know why. We, we, we will not call the corporates, all those things. Our leader will still beg them. Please, may they not leave us. May they still join us at least with God. With God, I know, I believe, say, all things are possible. The major problem is full of his men, kidnapping people. At this Auchi road, people are, people are dying. People are, in fact, there's problem. They have been trooping in, trooping in, and they never say anything about it. A lot of people have been kidnapped and be If you don't have money to pay ransom, they kill you. Edo is not safe for now. It's only God that will save us. That is what I know. Edo State is safe. But the criminal that is coming here and there, nobody knows them. How come a bar the station is break without a proper a place whereby there is a police, a security is break and the prisoner run away? So the thing is that the information is getting from the police. All of them are suspects. 
you call us everything there, you have the harm, everything you use, which the government give to you to use. But now, how come in bad? A bank whereby they collect money is not broke. A station, a police station, a prison is breaking. Then the people there went out and run away. So everything there, every custody, everything is in the hand of the police. You know this that happened, we all in the state, we are not safe. But security issue is for everybody. The only thing we will do to stay clear from all this evil that is happening, we have to be very conscious. The security system in Edo State is very poor because with uh, the recent development and a lot of things that have been going on for the past decades now, we have been able to observe that there is no satellite everywhere that can monitor what is going on in the country. Somebody can be kidnapped and nobody knows where he or she is all about just because there is no, there is no security. There is poor security system in this country. And with that report, we come to the end of today's episode of Crime and Justice Report. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when we drop new videos. Do have a wonderful day.